My name is Kim Karabo Megan. I am a multidisciplinary artist from Botswana, currently based in Cape Town, South Africa. I've been a practicing artist since about 2015. I changed my courses at the University of Cape Town and I started my Bachelor of Art in Fine Art at the Michaela School of Fine Art. And I've been there since because I'm doing my Master of Fine Art there currently. Some of the obstacles that I have faced as an artist include not having the opportunity to explore fine art at a tertiary level in my home country, Botswana. Women of color have been historically disadvantaged. It's kind of a constant battle to navigate a white male dominated creative industry. Some of the issues that inform my practice include my sense of dislocation. I think that my female immigrant status um, informs my identity via dislocation and in a way that's interesting across the borders of Botswana and South Africa. And so my work is really located in unpacking the manner in which we identify ourselves on a racial, national, and cultural level, as well as personally. In that, I am focusing specifically on my own identity, which coming from a multiracial background gets a bit tricky. <laughs> So my creative process often includes working with object symbols of identity or symbolic mediations of identity. I look at objects that I see as of cultural value, like baskets from Botswana, and comparing that with the baskets that you find popularly in South Africa, which often have a Zimbabwean or Zambian root. And so in that sense, I'm thinking about object symbols of a regional sense of identity and how it travels across regions. I suppose in that way, my work functions as an installation because it is constantly in conversation between me and the viewer, where I might identify it in one way, I might have a specific memory with those materials, but I'm interested in the way that that engage or trigger something in the viewer. And so I've taken the Botswana basket that we are known for distinctly and taken it out of context and thinking about what cultural value it holds outside of Botswana. I play on the object sense of identity by merging it with other culturally loaded symbols, for example, like ceramics. I often make press molds that combine the texture of Sutana baskets with your more Western style ceramic plate. Combining it into one, I ask the question whether it makes it less of one than the other, half of both, or is it the person that interacts with it that decides how it should be identified. In that sense, I really stretch the object or symbolic identity. I stretch the cultural value of the object. Um, and I put it through different regimes of value via dislocation. And so I start to question how that changes the object's identity. And it's a process, it's a progress. Uh, for me, the works become performative to an extent as I am constantly working and molding on them and meditating on these questions. My secondary school art teacher still jokes around to this day about how I was 
insistent on becoming a human rights lawyer. <laughs> I guess that didn't work out. 